Welcome along to this No Man's Land farm build series with me Retro Sorter. Thank you for joining me. This will be a build on the No Man's Land map by Alien Jim. As you can see here I've just arrived in the wilderness with my tent. I've done a little bit of preparation beforehand. My aim is to build a farm in this area to start with on the top of the hill there. So I'm going to build a road up here and see where we get to. I've removed some of the trees already. There was some on this hillside. As you know trees can cause problems. So the aim is to put a farm area up here with the lovely view around the hillside. And we'll see where we get to. So first things first, we need a flat area up near the forested area here to be able to place a farmhouse. And then I shall use the smoothing tool just to blend it in a little bit. I will finalise the landscaping further on in the series but for now this is a start and the farmhouse I'm going to place there will I'm, I'm not sure which one I want to use uh, and may change it later on. We shall see. Now I want to create a road from the track here up towards the farm area using the ramping tool so you select a height and then start smoothing from where you want the ramp to start and just follow where you want it to go. Not happy with that so I will work on that further. I do have an idea for using my uh, method of putting bridges on using silage clamps. If you want more information on that there is another video I shall put a link up. But for now, I am just creating a channel in the landscape. This is inspired by a farm that I've seen in the UK in real life. Somewhere I drive past quite often. Obviously the buildings will be different to the real life counterpart. But I want to do something similar. So I've selected this farmhouse but I think I will change it later on. There are some other assets available on the mod hub which I do like the look of. But this is a start. Just smooth out the area and I will paint in a road. So that'll do for a start, now I want to concentrate on the other side of the track. This area will be a storage area with a few barns and things. So I'm just going to place this long one here just to get an idea of what needs to be flattened. Now 
And there we go. We can see that the the area or the footprint of the building. I'm just going to adjust the land around it to fit. Sm uh, smooth it out a bit. I want another building in front of it, so I'm going to create a levelish area there. Trying to make it as realistic as possible would not involve a lot of landscaping because the way that these farms are built they just kind of adapt to the landscape so I just started making a second level here and found a log that I'd left behind from cutting down trees so I'll just go and dispose of that Let's now put the barn back in place, should be its final position and I won't have to delete it again, fingers crossed, I'll just put that there and check around it to make sure that there's no landscape clipping through the side walls or anything, let's have a look inside as well, make sure that it's properly placed. good now the area in the UK that I'm basing this on uh, is quite a hilly area and there is two sort of raised areas either side of the track so I'm just going to make, try and replicate that. So let's put another building down here. I think this one wants to be, I, I would want to put it with the same roof colour. So I'm just trying to match a building there. Line it with that one and kind of judge the position, give enough room for vehicles to turn in and out. And then fill in some gravel between the two buildings and I think a concrete base inside there. All this uh, decoration and landscaping that I'm doing is just a bit rough and ready at the moment. I will finalise things as I get closer to the end. I think I want to have a track coming off this end down into the field as well, so that's something that will be played with later, as, later on. And now on to the sort of bridge area I want to build. Another level here, as you can see I'm, I'm putting some kind of terraces in, so the idea is that the, the landscape was going to be too rocky to make a smooth transition from that level down to this level, uh, so a bridge is required across to the other side. So I'm just creating a level area and then I will put the bridge in. So I'm using my technique of using a silage clamp for placing a bridge. I'll, there's a link in the top corner to that video where I explain what I do. I do realise that there are now 
uh, a number of bridge packs in the mod hub but I, I like the look of this one and I think it will fit well here so as you can appreciate this is a bit fiddly this process um, so I will speed up time a bit like I say if you want to watch in more detail then uh, there is a full video on how I do this suffice to say it involves quite a bit of placing, deleting, leveling placing, deleting, leveling until you get it looking how you want that lump there will have to be smoothed out after I've removed that decorative piece There we are, success, delete that, smooth out that lump, and we're done. Smooth out the road a bit. Let's see how that looks. I'll take the uh, TLX through there. This is the TLX uh, by 82 Studios. Love this truck. There we go, there should be enough room underneath there. I will try it with some bigger equipment later on. For now though, I've got a few more trees I want to cut down. So I can expand this level area at just a touch. With the latest update to the game, they did fix the buggy trees, so I haven't had any problems, which is brilliant. When you do remove trees, you will have to remove the stumps, otherwise the landscape will not be able to be moved, flattened, smoothed. So you have to bring in something to remove the trunk, the stump from the ground, which I have of equipment already. There's a TLX here for now. I have a class Serio. There's a stump grinder on the front of that stump grinder. It is a forestry mulcher which makes short work of tree stumps. So I decided that I don't like that farmhouse as there is a better set of buildings that are available so I will just flatten this out a little bit to see how that looks Yeah, I think that looks much better. I will have to make some adjustments to the, the road, obviously. Put this addition on the side here. Yeah, I think that looks good. And we'll work further on that in the next episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, please drop me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel. Any suggestions? or comments please let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to reply but for now thank you for watching and see you in the next one